Let's imagine a society in which man has all the material and divine capacities needed for human evolution available. This society is replete with moral values. Due to the advancement of technology, all the new human needs in this society are met. The economy is in its best form and every person profits from economic benefits as much as his efforts. The wills of people in this society are considered. People enjoy public welfare. People pay attention to helping each other. And defending the oppressed in the world becomes everyone's concern. These are among the features of the new Islamic civilization that the supreme leader of the Islamic revolution has put a special emphasis on. He considers the ultimate goal of the formation of the Islamic system to be the realization of new Islamic civilization. Of course, the new Islamic civilization is not specific to Islamic societies. Rather, it means the pervasiveness of divine and Islamic culture in the public space of humanity in all social, political, economic, religious aspects, etc. Unlike Western governments, which, with a purely materialistic view, see their future as dependent on divisiveness, war, and domination of other societies, Ayatollah Khomeini believes that the world should move toward the direction of divine morality, justice, and progress in all fields, which are accessible to all human beings.